person says, it's retrograde, but I had to do it or lose it to someone else. It's a three-year signed lease that I signed on June 7th, and the owner received it on June 12th, and she moves in on July 1st. What do you think about this? All right. So I think if you've read, the first thing I'd probably ask to the person who wrote it is, if, have you read Outrageous Openness? And also maybe have you read The Changing Fur Book? Because I think both of those books, it's actually very hard, to, it's hard to be in this forum without having read Outrageous Openness because so much of what I'm saying is the foundation of it is in, is in that book. You really start developing a very different relationship to the retrogrades that aren't about fear. They're not about losing to somebody else. They're not about somebody else taking something that belongs to you. It's such a deeply different focus. And I kind of love that I got this letter because it's so much. Like if you go to sort of a standard astrology website, you know, they'll have whole conversations. And you'll get a lot of stuff like that. Like somebody will say, oh, a job is coming. But, oh, you know, all my friends are telling me if I take the job under the retrograde, terrible things will happen. And here's what I found, is if you offer everything to the divine, which is really why I wrote both those books, just to give people manuals about how to offer everything to the divine, then it changes the entire equation about something like an apartment that arrives, or a lease that arrives under the retrograde. You don't have to take the action because you're scared of losing it, because you know that the divine is the one who takes care of all of your needs. So if this person was meant to take it, they will. If not, somebody else will. However, if you're guided from the inside to take something, you're truly guided, then I would say you're not doing it from fear. You're doing it because you really feel the impulse to do it. Then the retrograde becomes secondary because God always trumps the retrograde, and I'll tell you a funny story with that, which is that my friend Gail, who uh, is actually in this forum, she won't care if I tell this story, she had um, a job, a job offer came to her right at the point that Mercury was going retrograde, and it was a great job offer. It was like one of those things that, you know, fell out of the sky, everything she could have dreamt of. Well, it came right on the edge of the retrograde. So, you know, the, the whole astrology world is just filled with people that they mean well, but they don't really know about divine order or how to offer things. So, you know, all these friends of hers started coming in and they're like, oh my God, it's Mercury retrograde. You better say no. Something terrible is going to happen, blah, blah, blah. So she and I were talking, and, you know, it was like her own guidance was so obviously telling her to take the job. And, in fact, the way you can often tell is that she literally felt like this propulsion. Take it, take it, take it. Not out of that fear, not like, oh, my God, I'm scared I'll lose it to somebody else. None of that, because none of that's divine order. That's just the ego. This was literally like, you know that story in Outrageous Openness where I'm, I'm talking about how I was at the airport and uh, the, the free ticket came and I kept my body kept trying to get me to stand up and, and grab the ticket and I just couldn't stand up. Like my fear was keeping me from standing up. So she was getting something like that. You know, it's that inner sponda, that leap of joy that I was talking about at the beginning. She was feeling that. And she knew in her heart to take that job. And she did. And it's going great. She's super, super happy there. Now, that thing came on Mercury Retrograde. So I think it's like a perfect example. This, These things aren't about superstition and you know they're also more complex than they're often written about 
on astrology sites, for example, the job that came to her on Mercury Retrograde is a job that had reached out to her in the past before. And so really often under Mercury Retrograde, somebody returns from the past, or a job returns from the past, or a lover returns from the past, something from the past comes back again, and it's not because you're meant to say no. But, but also, even if not, like to go back to this letter, the whole equation changes if you offer it to the divine and you say, the perfect person's picked, you know, you never can lose what your destiny is. I would say at this point, if she said yes, then that's fine. She said yes. But that there's a deeper message in this about how to really offer things to the divine and how to really come from that place knowing that you can never lose what's meant for you. And for all I know, you were totally meant to say yes. But I think you'll be able to do this from a different perspective that isn't based in fear, but is based in knowing the divine is the one that owns the properties. The divine is the one that brings the right people. It just changes. It changes everything. So I think if you haven't read both books, they'll, they'll really help a lot in terms of clarifying that. But I hope that, I hope that helped that much.